Hey, what's up, Camp Nerd fans? Welcome back to the camp. And uh, if you are watching these tutorials and they're kind of broken up, I am building the Nerd Pad. And to show y'all what the Nerd Pad looks like, let's uh, bring this up. This right here is the Nerd Pad, and this is what we're going to be building. And it's uh, we're just we're not going to get into the printing or any of these functions. We're just going to do the basic, which is the new document, the save document, and the open document. And I'm going to show y'all how to get to where those, as far as, uh, let's say, if we want to uh, open a document, you'll see your uh, file dialog come up. And if we just click on a file, you'll see that it comes up. This is the entire uh Bible, and this is for a bigger application I'm doing for my father. All right, now uh, let's say if you wanted to save it, then you could save it. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a new project. And this new project, and to show you how it works, this is how the menu functions work. All right, now let me just kind of move this over here, and we're going to save this file, and this file is going to be a uh, test file, and then we're going to save it on the desktop, and we're going to save it, and as you see, it comes up right here as the test file. All right, now if I was to delete all of this out, and let's say we're going to do a new document. Now I want to bring this document back up, so we just click on open, click on the test file, and you see it comes up. This is how the menu functions work. So this is what we're going to be doing, and I'm going to show you all how to do these buttons. So if you bring your project back up, you'll see that we are right here with the buttons. But before any of these can actually work, we need to set the uh, scroll viewer. And that's what I was talking about in the last tutorials. We're going to be using the scroll viewer and the text box to get this uh, completely done. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to add the... Uh, doc panel, the second doc panel right here, we are going to put a scroll viewer and we're going to uh, define a few things. So within this scroll viewer, we're only going to put a margarine of uh, zero and ten. All right, now if you notice, you have your scroll bars and everything right here, and that is what's going to give us the scrolling functionality of the text box. So if we add a text box, and then we close it off to where it's single, uh, so there's no closing text box, we're going to name this x name and then this is going to be uh, txt body and then we are going to put on here accepts return and this is going to be true and then this is going to be accepts tab and then this is going to be true and then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put a border thickness around this. So it's going to be border thickness of zero, and that takes the border away. And I kind of like it with the border uh, like that, but I'll just show you. If we have a border of one and we go to run this application, 
what you're going to see is the border that goes around. If the scroll viewer wasn't here, it's going to cut the bottom completely off. So I just have a no border whatsoever. So uh, we're going to take that border thickness and we're going to put it back to zero to where there's no border thickness. So when you start it now, you'll see that there's really no border there. And then you can go and you can type and then it accepts the return. It accepts the tab. So that's what we're doing here is getting the text box ready in this tutorial to actually start with the functions of getting everything done with this notepad. All right, now text wrapping, we're just going to put it to a default as text wrapping, yes. So you can put uh, the uh, blah, 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 text wrapping. Text wrapping is going to equal wrap. Now you can change that and you can also do that with a button as an if and else statement, stuff like that. We'll do that in another tutorial, but we're just going to keep it simple and have it just where it text wraps on auto. So now if you remember in the other tutorial, I had mentioned that my notepad, it has a 214 billion character limit. Now I'm going to show you how to get that. So if you come to your text and you expand this out, you're going to see a max number of lines and it's going to be uh, a 214 billion, uh, something like that, or it's going to be 2 billion, 147 million, 483,647. All right, so we're just going to make this easy, and we're just going to put nine zeros behind that for two billion. Now, the way that I have you building this, if you started from the first uh, tutorial on setting the dock panels and everything like that, uh, I gave you the correct dimensions. You're going to have exactly or roughly to it 107 to 108 characters on a line. So if we put 107 times, and we know that the max line is 2 billion, so it's going to be 2 billion like that, you're going to have a 214 billion uh, character limit. All right, so with the max lines, we're going to put that like that, and so that way you can kind of keep from there. Uh, that's the max lines, and then we're going to come back over to our XAML code, and we're going to come back down here, and we're going to put uh, a font family, and you can choose whatever font you want. I'm going to put uh, Calibri Light, like so. And then we're going to put a uh, height of 337. So we're going to put a height of 337. And then we're going to put a padding of 20, 20, 20 and 20 and then we're going to put a font size and you can go through and you can determine your font size the way you want these are what I have found as being perfectly done and then also with this you have the text box completely done and we're going to go ahead and do one more thing and it is going to uh, be adding uh, events and so when you click on the text box you are going to come over and you are going to add a text event changed and so when we come down we're going to add this text event change and this is where we are going to put our uh, labels down here, but to show you what I am talking about, 
if you're first just seeing this here and the way that this is uh, labeled, uh, you see down here where it says zero of two billion. Whenever you type, you're going to see this come up and it kind of gives you a character length. All right, that is where that is going to come in, and we are going to finish setting up the text box and all of its properties. And the first thing that we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, the tutorial so far, hit that like button. If you'd like to join the Camp Nerd family, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and I will see y'all guys in the next tutorial on finishing setting up the menu and the text and setting the character count as well. All right, guys, I'll see y'all in the next tutorial. Until next time, keep it nerdy.